this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway. Hey! Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years... Watch it! One of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up... Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Towner. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. Trail. And you're the famous getaway driver? Hey, you selfish prick! This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. This'll put hair on your chest. That's dangerous! You could kill me! Turn him off! No, no, no! Please! So tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean... You'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. 
I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the... prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up! No, please. Break him, Mr. Phillips! What do you want? Not the water board! It's torture! Not the water! Please don't! Don't do it! Oh! Don't do it! It shouldn't be legal! No! I won't! I won't! I won't! Always by the book! That's my vibe! <laughs> Talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Well, half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Oh. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, 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 let me think. I... Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. Oh, oh, okay. oh, wait, 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 I remember. Woo! We gotta break him down to build him up. No, no! No, you, you, you can't! No, 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 no! Not well, That's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Wakey! Wakey! I was going to the light!
So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no, no. No, 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 Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a... he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Jim. maybe one more time? Just to be sure. Oh, please, no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. I would panic. My heart. It's torture. Not the water. Ow! Please don't. Don't do it! Don't do it! Stop it! It's done the trick! Let's get him upright! I thought I was dead! <laughs> Today's lesson is about government regulation. There is no lesson! <laughs> Mr. K. Uh, I, 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 Mr. I K. Anything, please. <laughs> oh, okay. He, he chain smokes. He, he's left handed. What's that? He, he chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes! Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate... Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K... I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's ah, a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. <coughs> you can do. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man... How you feeling? I need to get to the hospital. Nah, you're fine. I can assure you, I am not. No one likes a crybaby. You look great. Let me see the mirror. I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? And why are you helping me? I told you, I don't like being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Now who you work for? IAA? The IAA want you dead as well, don't you remember? The Marshal? Global Pool? Who? Global Pool? Did you say Global? Did you say Global Pool? I work for the forces of sanity. Sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. What do you mean? 
you've got a message. You are a message, eh? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture. Torture for the sake of torture? That's my bag. But there are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. They think it'll get them somewhere. We gotta call bullshit on that. Torture is not, not gonna make you normal friends or get you information. I am slipping out of consciousness. Am I dying? Ah, oh, you're not dying. You're being a bit of a wuss. I know people who would pay good money for what you just enjoyed. I will. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Me. Run. You're free. But my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Ah, 